Hi, Dr. Ali. Hello, yes, do come in. Um, I hope you don't mind. I do actually have a trainee doctor with me today. Um, so Hayley, this is Ethel. Oh, hello, I'm gonna be a doctor. So now what seems to be the problem we're having Hayley? Um, I've basically been having really bad earache. It's sort of behind my right ear. Oh no. Okay, and how would you rate the pain on a scale of one to 10? Um, it's, sorry, I'm really confused. What's, what's with the slow music? Oh, sorry, um, I, I like to put on ambient music when we're going through these procedures. Uh, okay, um, I just, I would really rather that you just didn't. Okay, noted, you do not want the sad music. Great, yeah, uh, so the pain I would rate at about an eight or a nine, it's very consistent, quite sharp. Goodness, according to Google, it's cancer. Cancer? No, now, if we don't tend to Google symptoms in here. Uh, we like to listen to what the patient has going on and then we sort of draw from that. Right, understood. I do have to ask you a few routine questions. Now, do you smoke? No. Um, and on average, um, how many units of alcohol would you say you consume per week? Um... Sorry, I'm confused. Can we stop with the music again? Oh, yep, sorry about that, my, my bad. Didn't mean to do that again. Uh, I just tend to find that with that question, uh, it fits quite nicely with dramatic music. Can we just get on with the appointment? Absolutely. Now, if you would just like to pop your trousers off and hop onto the bed. What? Sorry, have you listened to anything I've said? It's my ear. Yes, very well aware. Uh, this is just uh, very routine um, for ear problems. Oh, sorry, I didn't realize the lower half of your body was connected to your ear. You would be surprised. Lovely. So if you just want to pop your legs apart, is this actually essential? Yes, absolutely. This is 100% essential. Uh, we wouldn't be doing it if it wasn't. Right. Okay. Great. Wonderful. So in this situation, we can see that the patient wasn't quite ready to be seen down here today. Oh! You can see around here, it is quite unkept. There's quite a lot of tangled hair. Uh, excuse me, I can literally hear everything you're saying and that is so offensive. Don't mind us, uh, it's all medical speak for you have a very untamed vagina. <laughs> uh, yeah, can still hear that. Sorry, medical talk. <laughs> you wouldn't understand. So basically what we're looking for is absolutely anything that looks unusual. <laughs> Okay, um, if you would just like to pop your pants back on. Oh my god. Can you hear me, Ethel? Ooh, I feel very dizzy. Well, we're gonna get you up nice and slowly now and pop you over on a chair. Okay. Okay, well, what I'm going to do is I am going to prescribe you uh, with some medication that you will take orally twice a day. Oh, thank you so much. I'm sure that'll make me feel miles better. What is happening? I'm sorry, I'm the patient here. Should you not be prescribing me with something for my ear? Right, okay, I think I'm being quite um, selfish right now. Uh, one of our trainee doctors just passed out because of your genitals. You are a joke of a doctor. Why you needed to see my genitals for my ear is beyond me. Okay, judging by the tone of your voice, it sounds like you have a little bit of an anger management problem. God, now, you, now you're diagnosing me with anger management. What are you gonna do next? Put your finger up my ass? Goodness, no, you are confusing your medical history. Uh, we only actually do that procedure when we are dealing with a sprained ankle. 